Hey, Will, what are you doing? Just filling up my bracket. Really hope I'm doing better than last year. What do you mean? I only got 28% of the picks right. Oh, that reminds me. We have to go film the 28th edition of the EDS News. Let's go. This week for upcoming events. Today, the 5th and 6th grade party starts at 3.15, and the 7th and 8th grade event starts at 7. Next week, from March 19th to the 23rd, intersession starts, and the week after that, March 26th to the 30th, is spring break. We'll see you after spring break with more upcoming events. Last week was Teacher Appreciation Week, the time where we show our appreciation to our amazing teachers and one of wonderful staff of EDS. Last week, we had volunteers that left daily treats in the teacher's lounge, little surprises in their mailboxes, a luncheon on Wednesday, and much more. There was a link on EDS website that went to a sign-up sheet. Thank you to everyone who volunteered, and thank you to our EDS staff and teachers. Hi, my name is Jason, and now for this week's news on lower school. Fourth graders presented their giving projects on Tuesday, March 13th. Each year, the fourth grade and Evansville Day School spend several months working on the giving project. Students started with $10 seed money to create a small business in order to raise money for a charity of his or her choice. During the presentation, each student talked about the business he or she developed and revealed the amount of money for the organization that they chose. During lunch on Tuesday, March 15th, the second grade class had a bake sale to raise funds for the Vander Vanderburg Humane Society. Goodies were sold in the Commons Atrium in primary school. That is it for Lower School News. Have a great spring break. And now for this week on Upper School News. The EDS Spanish Club is working on a community service project called Pen Pals and Box of Love to Puerto Rico. They are mailing letters and a care package to the elementary school in Morovis, Puerto Rico. Parents of the Spanish Club students are asked to sign and return the permission form for their students to participate. If you wish to donate a Walmart gift card or school supplies to the care package, please bring your donations in by April 10th. Tune in after spring break for more upper school news. And now it's time for middle school news. Seventh grader Ellie Kissel represented Evansville Day School at the Circle of State with Song Choral Festival that took place last week. Nearly 5,000 elementary and middle school students take part in this event each spring at one of the 12 sites in Indiana. Fifth grader Lira Sajes was recently presented with a certificate of appreciation from 911 Gives Hope for her donations after her giving project last year. That's all for this week on Middle School News. The op shop's last day is tomorrow. Join us for an open house to celebrate this 59th year fixture of day school. Stop by from 12 to 5 to have a cookie, check out remaining deals, and to thank Karen Crayling, her staff, and volunteers for their service. We hope to see you there. Last week, 8th graders practiced presenting their Science of Sounds exhibits to 3rd and 5th graders. The 8th graders will present their exhibits to Tri-State students at Da Vinci Institute Thursday and Friday, March 15th through 16th. This is a STEM and music program at the Children's Museum of Evansville. That's all for the Da Vinci Project. This week on sports. Thursday, March 15th was the Evansville Day School Winter Sports Banquet at Login. The Winter Sports Banquet recognized students who participated in boys basketball, swimming, bowling, and cheerleading. Good job to all the students who delivered hard work to our athletic program. That's all for this week on sports. See you after spring break. Now for this week's edition of What's Hot, March Madness. The NCAA tournament started this week. On Selection Sunday, Virginia, Villanova, Xavier, and Kansas were given number one seed. Like every year, there are teams that surprisingly do not make it to the big dance. This year's first four out were Notre Dame, Baylor, St. Mary's, and USC. Louisville, Middle Tennessee State, Oklahoma State, and Marquette also did not make the bracket. During the first four play in games, Radford, St. Bonaventure, Texas, Southern, and Syracuse all advanced. On Thursday, there were a couple of upsets as 11th seeded Loyola Chicago beat 6th seeded Miami on a last second three-pointer to win 64-62. 
Ninth seeded Alabama beat eighth seeded Virginia Tech, 86 83. But the biggest bracket buster of the first day was 13th seeded Buffalo beating 4th seeded Arizona, 89 to 68. The tourney is always exciting and upsets are a big part of the first two days. However, it remains to be seen if there is a real Cinderella team that can advance to the Final Four. We'll be sure to update you on the tourney when we, get, when we return from spring break. That's it for What's Hot. Now for this week's glacial edition of In the Halls where we play EDS students on the hot seat. What can run but not walk? Water. <laughs> A car can run Time. on gas. Time? No, you're wrong. If you know me, you'll want to say me. But when you say me, I'll be gone. What am I? <laughs> Words. <laughs> Again, two mothers and two daughters go out to eat. Each one eats one burger, but only three burgers are eaten. How is this possible? A person at a different table ordered a burger and ate it. Three generations. One of the mother is a daughter. Let's go. If two's a company and three's a crowd, what is four and five? Number. Number. Uh, four and five are just full fledged parties. A house has four walls. Each of the walls are facing south, and there's a bear circling the house. What color is the bear? I have keys, but no locks. A space, but no room. You can enter, but you can't exit. What am I? Oh, keyboard. I got a keyboard. That's it for the 28th edition of the EDS News. See you in two weeks after spring break. Bye. Bye.